Hey, I'm Ben Polevsky. Uh, I work with Hieroglyphic Games on King of the Hat, and I do all the business stuff uh, surrounding the game. Yeah. So talk about what this game is all about. So it's really about one thing and one thing only, hats. How many hats? Um, currently, 15 playable hats. So, so there are 15 playable hats uh, right now, and we're, we're shooting for 20 playable hats on launch. So talk about the gameplay of this game. It's a lot like Smash Brothers a little bit. So it is like Smash in that it's like easy to pick up, uh, local multiplayer and online game. Um, but it's different in that it's not a percentage-based system. There are no stocks. The point of the game is simple, which is you just have to jump on the other player's hat to win. So in terms of gameplay, yeah, there, it's kind of a platform fighter, but the core mechanic is, is totally different. Where did the idea for this game come from? God. He came to me as a hat and said, build me a game with a hat. We were on a mountain, <laughs> and we were gifted this game by a hat god. Can you talk about some of those? You guys have a lot of cool zany characters in this game. Go through a couple of your favorites. You can play as um, a washing machine. You can play as a scarecrow. You can play as a birthday kid, a princess, a fat cat. Um, I personally like um, fat cat because he's... He's only in the business of business hats, and that's, he's actually kidnapped all the other characters and is making them fight for the entertainment of cats everywhere. I see what you did there, fat cat business. Okay, I get it. Yeah, we do our best, yeah. <laughs> I, I like Captain Crunch. Uh, Captain Hat? Yeah. yeah he's like a Napo <laughs> he's uh, got a Napoleon complex. He's basically our, our homage to Napoleon. Um, he's, uh, so he, his hairline's receding, and he's really insecure about his uh, male pattern baldness. Um, as, as we all are, I am, you know, we're all going to get there. And uh, when he throws his hat away, he gets really angry because he wants to go get it because he doesn't want people to see him hatless. So he, he actually moves faster with his hat off. So talk about what it was working like Nintendo porting your game to the Switch. Oh, it was, it was a charm. I mean, like, sorry, I said charm. It was, it was a dream. It was pretty easy. Uh, we're building in Unity, and uh, it's really easy to build your game. Um, it's, it's really easy to port your game to the Switch when you're in Unity. So when does the game come out? When can we play it? So we're gunning for early 2019 for the Switch. Um, it does launch uh, in a month or a month-ish on Discord uh, as part of their first on Discord wave. And that time will really give us, um, you know, give us an opportunity to listen to the community, to fine tune the game for its Switch launch. Uh, so we really get it right for all, for all the Nintendo fans out there, yeah. Are you guys eventually planning for a Xbox and PS4 version as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a... It really is a game that was designed for the couch, and we'd love to get it to console to all consoles. So the game comes out on Discord um, whenever they launch their store. So right now they've announced the store, and we think it's going to be you know in the next couple of months, but we're not really sure. It's really up to them for whenever they announce their launch date. So far they haven't set a concrete date, but whenever they do come out, we're on it. Where, uh, where can people find more information about your game? Um, you can go to kingofthehat.com or discord.gg slash kingofthehat. We're on there all the time, so if you want to talk to me uh, and tell me that this interview is bad uh, or how I can improve, that would be great because I haven't done many of these.